In order to use the many libraries that are available with Python, you have to appropriately install Python. And this is what this video is about. It's going to look at how you can ensure that when you install Python, it is best set up for the importing of the libraries that you can use with the Python programming language. To download and install the latest version of Python, open a suitable browser and type in this position python.org and then you'll be presented with this window. When you are at this page, hover over Downloads and you will note here that it says Python 3.9.5 and it's telling you it's the download for Windows. An alternative is to click on where the cursor currently is on top of the Downloads and it'll take you to a different page. Now when you are at this different page, if you look below, it says download the latest version for Windows. Now it's detected that I'm using Windows and you will click on this button here. But look to this line and it's saying if you're not using Windows, then you have these other links here that you can go to where you can locate the download for those operating systems. What I'm going to do is click onto this and when I do that, it'll start downloading as you can see here. Now this will take a while, so I'll just wait. I'll pause the video at this point and restart when the file has been downloaded. Once the file has downloaded, locate your downloads folder and you'll see at the top here, we have got Python 3.9.5. Now that is the thing we're going to have to double click on to fire off the installation of this latest version of Python, which was the latest version on the 4th of June 2021. When you've double clicked, as I've just described, you'll be presented with this. Now you have a choice. You can click on here where it says install now, or you can come down here and click on customize installation. My recommendation is you go for install now. But before you do, I would like to draw your attention to this here, where it says add Python 3.9 to path. Now my recommendation is that you click onto that and then come up here and click on to install now. If you forget to click onto this, it'll cause issues for you later on in your Python work when you want to install libraries. You can manually go into Windows and add Python to the path, but you may as well do it here and stop issues appearing later on in your work in Python. So what I'll now do, I'll come up here and I'll click on install now and off it goes saying set up progress and it tells you that it is installing. Now this will take a short while so I'll pause the video at this point and return when it's finished. Now you will note here that it says disable path length limit. Now what this means in an appropriate place within Windows there's a file and that file has paths to various bits of software. One of which is Python because remember we tick that box at the beginning of the installation process but there are other things in that path that will be of interest to you when you start using libraries. So you have a choice at this point. Do you want to go ahead and do this or do you want to wait till later in your work with Python to disable this path limit? Depending on all of the libraries you install and what else you're doing with your path variable, you may need to disable the length of the path. Um, but I'll leave that up to you. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click onto this. So off it goes, making the changes and it's immediately said setup was successful. So now my path limit has been increased. So hopefully I won't have issues with my work later on when I'm using lots of libraries with Python. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. 
Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.